In this video, we're learning about stem cells. So we'll cover what stem cells are, the different types of stem cells, and finally, how stem cells are used in research and in medicine. Starting with what stem cells are, stem cells are essentially undifferentiated cells, and that means they haven't yet become specialized to perform specific functions. They have two key features, the ability to divide by mitosis in order to produce more stem cells, and the potential to differentiate into specialized cells, such as muscle cells, nerve cells, or blood cells. These two features, being able to divide and produce via mitosis, and their potential to specialize into different cell types, make stem cells crucial for growth, development, and tissue repair. This means that when your body needs new cells, like for repairing a cut on your skin, stem cells can do this by forming lots of the correct type of cell. Next, let's explore the different types of stem cells. We can classify stem cells in two main ways, either based on their potency or based on where they're found. Starting with potency, this is the stem cell's ability to differentiate into different cell types, and we can rank it from the most potent types of cells to the least potent types of cells. The most potent stem cells are called totipotent stem cells, which can differentiate into any cell type and can even form a whole new organism. The next most potent are pluripotent stem cells, and these are able to differentiate into almost any type of cell, although they can't form a whole new organism. Then after that, we have multipotent stem cells, and these can become only a limited range of cell types. So an example here would be the stem cells in bone marrow that can only become blood cells. Then the least potent are unipotent stem cells, which can only become one specific type of cell. For instance, germline stem cells in the ovaries that can only become egg cells. Okay, so now let's look at how we classify animal stem cells based on where they're found. First, embryonic stem cells are found in early embryos. They're initially totipotent, so can differentiate into any cell type or even form a new organism. This is why if a human embryo splits whilst its cells are still totipotent, it can form two identical twins. After about seven days though, these stem cells become pluripotent, focusing on forming the different parts of the fetus. Then as well as embryonic stem cells, we also have adult stem cells, and these are found in adult tissues like bone marrow, and are typically multipotent or unipotent. These are responsible for replacing worn out cells. For instance, multipotent stem cells in bone marrow can only become specific types of blood cell, such as red blood cells or white blood cells. Importantly though, it's not just animals. Plants have stem cells too, and these are found in meristems, which are the areas of the plant that are continually growing. Some meristems are found at the tips of shoots and roots, and these can be considered totipotent because they have the potential to form a whole new organism if they're separated from the parent plant. If we look at this cross section through a plant shoot, we can see stem cells that are also found between phloem and xylem tissues in a region called the vascular cambium. Now these cells are pluripotent, meaning they can differentiate into almost any cell type, but mostly they form new phloem or xylem as the plant grows. Finally, let's take a look at how stem cells are used in research and medicine. One of the most exciting uses is in treating diseases. For instance, conditions like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's can damage or destroy nerve cells, and stem cells could potentially replace those nerve cells in order to help the patient function properly and treat the diseases. They're also used in drug testing though, allowing scientists to test for safety, toxicity, and side effects before moving on to human trials. Researchers also study stem cells to learn how organisms develop from a single cell. And this can help scientists to identify the causes of developmental disorders. A really interesting type of stem cell is the induced pluripotent stem cell, or IPS cell. These cells are created when scientists genetically modify adult unipotent cells, which allows these cells to act like embryonic stem cells, which are generally pluripotent. They have massive benefits because iPS cells can self-renew indefinitely and can differentiate into various cell types. 
but they don't have the ethical concerns of using embryonic stem cells directly. In theory, this could provide an unlimited source of stem cells for both research and medical treatments. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.